this part's going to have to be edited. I raised the volume on the microphone, and we should be chilling very well right now. Okie dokie. Let's see if everything goes. <clears throat> Hello guys, uh, so this video is to uh, get around a problem with OpenStack when you're installing an all-in-one or multi-node using RDO Packstack. Currently uh, it's using the Juno version and I'm using CentOS 7 here. If you um, try to install it using all the default settings, uh, first you would install CentOS 7 and when you run through the installation, if you use automatic partitioning, what will happen is uh, CentOS 7 by default will create a root partition and your home partition. The root partition would be uh, substantially smaller than your home partition. Then when you install uh, Packstack, uh, OpenStack using Packstack, it installs OpenStack and for storage uses your root partition. So, for instance, if uh, you're using a 500 gigabyte hard drive, what will happen is it will uh, set 450 gigs as your home uh, partition and then your root partition will be left with 50 gigabytes. Then when you install RDO Packstack and uh, you log in and view how much space you have, you'll, it'll say you have 49 gigabytes. So, uh, this is just a quick uh, workaround and um, when you first install CentOS we're just going to uh, change the partitioning and I'm just gonna run through that and show you how easy it is so here I'm booting up a uh, CentOS 7 this is a minimal install ISO um, I'm doing it on ESXi 5.5 but this is exactly the same as if you would just uh, put an, uh, a CD into the drive and just boot up with that. So let me just make this full screen and we'll run through it. Okay, so I'm just gonna install CentOS 7 here. It's gonna run through. Uh, so what this is right now, this is a computer with uh, uh, the CentOS 7 uh, disk in, in the uh, CD-ROM drive. It's booting up for the first time. I have a 500 gigabyte hard drive in here. All right, I'm just going to step through. And uh, the, the thing you want to change is this right here. So we want to go into the system disk, OK? And instead of selecting automatically configure partitioning, I want to choose um, custom partitioning. So I'm going to click on, I will configure this partition, all right? and now if you click done it'll bring you here all right I'm gonna have it automatically create the partitions for me all right now these are the automatic partitions that it created if you can see uh, the default is for your home partition uh, on a four on a 500 gig hard drive it'll set 450 gigs on your home partition and then your root partition has 50 gigs all right so what we're gonna do is simply make this one smaller and I'm just gonna make my home partition 50 gigs and then I'm going to make the root partition 450 gigs that's it <laughs> it's pretty much uh, that simple so I'm gonna click update selected okay click done and I'm gonna accept changes and now I'm done now I can step through the rest of this installation and I'll just run through that um, just so that you can see how it installs and then I'm going to actually do the install of uh, OpenStack and I'll step through that as well. Um, so this is fine. I'm going to set up the HCP for now 
and then we'll change the static so I'll set that I have another adapter uh, this is the second adapter and we'll set that up later when we switch from an all-in-one configuration to a multi node configuration all right I'm gonna leave uh, this as default and we'll change all that later so um, that that's it uh, now when we uh, once once it is installed um, you'll see that the partitions will have uh, 50 gigs in your home partition which won't be used uh, if you're installing OpenStack on here what will be used is this partition which is now 450 gigs all right so I'm just gonna kick off the installation okay I'm gonna set my passwords Okay, uh, CentOS 7 minimal installation is uh, going through the process of installing. Uh, I'm just going to pause it here and uh, we'll be back as soon as it finishes.